Phillips, a ban on same-sex marriage will remain in Virginia's Constitution after a final vote today. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is live in the Digital Center to explain what that means. Jackie. Hey guys, well that part of the state constitution, which was added back in 2006, is now symbolic and not enforceable. But lawmakers say that taking it off of the books would have maintained same-sex marriage rights in Virginia, even if federal protections were to end. Our constitution has enshrined discrimination. Carol Shaw and Mary Townley, the couple whose case paved the way for same-sex marriage in Virginia, now feeling uneasy. The whole world right now is just feeling a little more scary. A Republican-led panel in the House of Delegates rejecting a push to remove a defunct ban on same-sex marriage from the state constitution, even though the same proposal got bipartisan support last year. If passed, Virginia voters would have had the final say in a November ballot referendum. Some religious groups arguing marriage should be between a man and a woman. We continue to stand for traditional marriage, biblical marriage. Please vote to continue reflecting that in our state constitution. The vote means if a conservative-leaning Supreme Court rolls back federal protections, the state's ban could take effect once again, says Richmond Law Professor John Pagan. I don't think the United States Supreme Court is going to backtrack on marriage equality. I think it's highly unlikely. Even so, Shaw worries about the message this sends to LGBTQ couples. As long as this is on the books in Virginia, Virginia is saying, we hope that someday you don't get to be family again. Now, the former Democratic Attorney General Mark Herring played a big role in that case that shored up same-sex marriage rights in Virginia. The new Attorney General, Jason Meares, not commenting today, but he did vote against removing the constitutional ban as a delegate last year. Governor Glenn Youngkin also not commenting tonight. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.